good team. And they, des they deserve the, the victory uh, today. Uh, they made one more play than us, right? That's kind of how it goes in overtime. And we thought, <clears throat> well, at least looking at it, you win the faceoff and maybe you win it right there. But it uh, wasn't, wasn't to be. Um, but our guys played hard, played well. I mean, that's a team that's averaging 16 goals a game. And uh, we kind of held them in check, right. you know? Right. Uh, we took the most shots we've taken all year in the game. Yep. Your goalie had 18 saves? Somewhere around there? I think so, yeah. 18 saves? That's, yeah, 18. That's pretty impressive, man. Yeah. You know, we made some really good saves. Uh, we missed the cage a few times. You know, those are the opportunities that in games like this that you have to you have to bury. But again, you know, Brown's a good team, well coached. They play a great style, you know, so uh, we tried to slow them down a little bit. But how tough is it? It felt like, at least from where we were, it felt like every time you guys were facing a deficit or anything, you guys answered the bell right away. I guess how tough is it to kind of come back so many times and then finally just fall? Yeah, it is. And, you know, in the last yeah. two games, we came back in both games and we were able to push forward. You know, uh, we weren't able to do that. To, you know, to tie it up at nine, you wish that, you know, you score the next one. And right. you, there's a lot of confidence there coming off those last two games, uh, honestly. Um, but it, it, it's difficult. We were battling all day. And I think both teams were battling. Um, I think when you, <clears throat> ultimately, when you look at it, both teams turned the ball over a bunch. We turned it over at bad times. You know, we turned it over out of timeouts twice, right. which you hate as a coach. Uh, you know, um, we turned it over there in overtime as well. So, uh, you know, if guys are making plays, you know, I think the overtime play was, you know, Malls is trying to make a play. Mm -hmm. and he can live with that. But the ones when. You know, we're just trying to get the ball to the next guy and we throw the ball high or away because someone's pressing us. You can't live with that. Right. They should, our, our guys shouldn't want to live with that either. You know? Uh, so with Malloy, you guys looked like you were very physical with him when he got the ball. Uh, was, that a, was that one of your games? Yeah, you I mean, you look at the kid. You know, you have to be. You, you, and still, he face dodged us two or three times, right, and got past two or three guys. I mean, that's incredible talent to, to be able to do that. Incredible talent. So yeah, I mean, you have to put a body on his body. You can't let him run by you, you know? You're defending, he can run by you, but he can't run by the next guy or the next guy. He did that successfully today a couple times. Good player. Fortunately, yeah, he's a fantastic player. It's always tough losing a one goal game and, you know, in overtime like that, we fight back. We're down a couple, we fight back. I think we're up even at yeah. one point. They come back, you know, it's just a game of runs. That's the way lacrosse is. And it's fun to be a part of, but it always sucks to lose like that. Right. You talked to me earlier in the week, and you said about how your defense needed to be extremely disciplined today. Yeah. Would you say you guys succeeded in that? Yeah, there, you know, I, I wouldn't say we played a full sixty minutes of disciplined defense, but I say we, you know, we were much better than we were in previous weeks, mm -hmm. and that showed because you know we didn't we didn't give them extra opportunities, mm -hmm. and uh, we limited a lot of their transition, a lot of their goals were from six on six, which is okay. You know, we'll give that up. You know, they're gonna score. So as long as we can limit that, we'll be all right. Uh, you were on Dylan Malloy for most of the game. Uh, I saw you. You got very physical with them. Was that you guys were trying to a lot of group effort there? Were you guys trying to just knock him off his toes and keep him honest? He's a big boy, so yeah. it, it, and I, I'm not that big. I think he weighs around like 220. <laughs> I'm only like 160, but uh, it was a battle. But a lot of the help came from my other teammates. You see, a lot of times we got the ball out of his stick either early or we would double team him. Mm -hmm. I mean, best player in the country. You got to, I think yeah. the defense did a great job. <laughs> DJ held, you know, he stood tall, helped us out a lot. I mean, I think the great, I would think it was a great game. We battled back and forth, definitely against two great teams out there. But like Coach Mack always said, there's no more victories in the cross. So any loss is, is a tough one. But I'm very proud of my teammates and we trust our coaches. And today was, it was a great game, but we just fell on the up on the wrong side, they were not, you know, we don't want to fall in the L. And they got the win, so right. it's a tough one, but that's the way it goes. Right. Your offense was sort of clicking. You had uh, a couple goals. Um, just kind of take me through what you saw out there and what you think was working. Yeah, I mean, we, with the ball movement we have in our offense, I feel like 